Hey YouTube, welcome to my vlog. I realize I haven't recorded one of these in a while, um, but if you followed me on TikTok and Instagram, you would know that I've picked up a new hobby over the last two weeks. Uh, pretty much got a candle making kit. I, I didn't do it to get into anything serious with it. I just kind of wanted something to do to take my mind off of a lot of events going on, not only around me, but in the world. But I've had people ask me questions about what was actually what came in my starter kit and would I recommend it? Um, I actually personally I would recommend you piecemeal yourself together a kit and I will show you. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I'll show you what came in the kit. Of course, you did come. It came with some wax. It's a soy based wax. I don't know much beyond it's soy based wax. Whereas I know all the other waxes um, that. I've looked into but it came with about two pounds I, I intend to finish this off either today or tomorrow and then open up my new bag of of wax that I purchased Why? I had a pouring pitcher um, I looked up the prices of some of these now it's not terrible it, this isn't a bad one you can find better ones um, but yeah it it's great for starting uh, yeah, I would probably buy one of these separate. Like I said, piecemeal this stuff together. They're not terribly expensive. I saw them for like $10, $15. Uh, it came about 50 wicks. I have used a couple, of course. Yep. It came with some stirring sticks and wick holders. Um, I just use all of these as stirring sticks. The wick... I bought an extra set of wick holders that are metal and reusable. So, yeah. It came with four um, different scents. It's sandalwood. What's this other one? Sandalwood, sage, orange, and uh, uh, lavender. I've already made the lavender and the orange one. It didn't come with any orange coloring, which is bizarre but oh well um it came with some color it came with these color like things you drop in it came with green blue purple and one other color i can't remember what the fourth color is it came with four of these little tins um they're not bad. They're, they're not the size that they say they are in there. They say if you melt uh, 250 grams of wax and put the scents that they have, it'll fit in one of these perfectly. And I always have extra left over. So either these are smaller than they originally did when they did the instructions or it was a little off. And it came with several of these... Like, you put your wick on there and it sticks it to the bottom. I might use all of these. Um, I personally would go with a better option. As once you stick these on and stick them into the ground, if it's not center when, when you just kind of touch it, it sticks really well. Um, so I have one, or, one candle in which the wick is off center and I couldn't do anything about it. Oh, well. Came with... Of, it came with instructions. I've accidentally thrown those out. And it also came with some warning stickers. Eh. There we go. In some areas you need the to put these on if you sell them. It's great for liability reasons. It came with some directions which... I don't want to say they were bad instructions. Because if it stayed with one measurement style, it would be good instructions. Everywhere where it told you the temperature um, to get things to or to add things to the wax was in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. And that's the only thing that was consistent. It would tell you to put uh, like 250 grams of the wax in and then immediately follow up with how many ounces of um the scent you want to add and the and then it gives you a mathematical formula and you can't do 
that formula with that. Everything has to be in the same measurement style. I did forget it also came with a, a thermometer. It's not a bad thermometer really. Um, so that's pretty good. You can find, but I did find one that looks similar to this on Amazon for like four bucks. So, so yeah, like I said, I would piecemeal pretty much your own kit together as opposed to buying this. The wax is, um, like I said, I don't know much on the wax and I've reached out to the seller and he doesn't know much about what I want to know about the wax, which is, um, how much scent you can add and other stuff. Um, I've just been kind of guessing with, since a lot of people in my house are allergic to some of the fragrances that I have bought, I've been going a little light on that with only 4%. So yeah. Now what have I bought after and separate? Well, when I bought the whole kit, I didn't realize it came with uh, wick holders. So I bought like a pack of 50. They look like this. This one I've already used. I got to clean it off. But yeah, you pretty much just set it on there. It holds the wick in the center or however you're going to have it. And I bought a pack of 50. They were like six bucks. Metal is re reusable. That's why I bought these. So that wasn't too bad. I also went to jo Joanne Fabrics and picked up some stuff. I picked up various scents that I didn't bring up to my studio and uh, five pounds of wax. I didn't want to bring all of that up here. I got two molds that are sitting and drying because I had to wash them out pretty good. But I got a square mold and like a heart-shaped mold because I took my niece and nephew and that's what they wanted me to pick up was the heart-shaped one. I'll splice a piece of video in here um, that I posted on Instagram. I picked up a little bit of, I picked up some votive, uh, wicks Oof. and, uh, some votive molds. Um, I'm, I haven't yet used any of these, so I also picked up, uh, a wick trimmer. You can buy these a lot cheaper than going to Joann's for it. You can buy a lot of what I got cheaper than going than they are at Joann's. Except for the wax. The wax is about on par with where I found it elsewhere. Alright, that's it. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you want to watch me uh, develop this. My TikTok is more or less a grab bag of stuff. And my Instagram, if it, before it was disabled practically by bots and trolls, uh, was mostly just my photography stuff that I've kind of converted over into um, just as candle stuff. I wanted to add a little addendum to this, even though I said I wouldn't necessarily recommend you buy the whole kit, but I would piecemeal it together. I am going to put the Amazon link in my bio, in the description of this video. Um, where you can buy this very same kit. It's not a terrible kit. The only thing that was terrible was the instructions. Everything else you could probably get cheaper elsewhere though, honestly.